Before Tennessee's legislature takes votes here, the people cast their votes here. And Tuesday night's results were decidedly Republican. It's, it's a paradigm shift in our state. Party leaders recognize it's a historic achievement. Republicans now have a super two-thirds majority in the House and Senate. Some voters aren't sure what to make of it. That's a good idea that the Republicans would have dominant control. I think there should be more balance. A lot of people don't feel our system's right, you know, set up, but it's the way it is, you know. House Democrats called a news conference Wednesday saying President Obama's lack of support in Tennessee was just one reason they struggled. In every seat, Mitchell, Powell, Jernigan and Johnson, we were outspent in some cases by a margin of two to one. Democrats say despite their smaller numbers, they'll continue to fight. We're, we're not going to sit there and roll over and when something needs to be done for the people of Tennessee, we're going to, we're going to defend that, those values. Republicans, meanwhile, have a dominant position. They'll likely control every committee and every key vote on Capitol Hill. Representative Glenn Cassida, who is expected to lead the House Republican Caucus, says Democrats won't be excluded. So everyone's welcome at the table of ideas. And we'll put them up for debate, and we'll vote, and the majority will prevail as it should. As for the legislative priorities, Cassida says education reform, tax cuts, and less regulation will be the focus. In two years, uh, the Republicans in the General Assembly have taken Tennessee to the fifth most business-friendly state in the union, and our goal is to make us number one.